Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Tonight we got a doubleheader. Game number one, the North Dakota State Bison, a sixth ranked team in the country, might I add, taking on the McNeese State Cowboys, who are currently 1-7 and seven on the season. They're having a rough time. Bison on an eight-game winning streak, and they find themselves in the top ten. They're having a really good year. Number five offense in the country, over 500 yards per game. Number eight defense in the nation. Number one pass defense. So that is just amazing. They've come definitely a long way on the defensive side of the football, uh, dating back to season number one. Obviously, their pass offense, not the greatest. They're an option attack team. Number one rush offense, over 350 yards rushing per game. So I, I don't see the Cowboys doing too well here tonight. But we shall see. And Austin Bracey, uh-oh, let's see what he did. Fargo Media has been reporting that Bracey pays fellow students to help him take exams and do homework assignments. This is terrible timing, but I recommend we suspend him for the rest of the year. Oh my goodness. There's only... Oh my goodness, we can only suspend him for one half because there are no more discipline action points remaining now this could be really bad for the bison okay we cannot afford for any more north dakota state football players to get suspended because the team interest will go over half and then they're going to be put on a postseason ban so we we don't want to see that for any of our 12 schools here in the series so that that could definitely come back to bite the bison in the bootay. That's rough, guys. That's that's rough. That's all I could say about that. All right, let's get it. Who we got in the chat? Marvin Joseph, what's going on? Carter Honeycutt, J.P. Parker, J. Washington. What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a great night. All right, let me exit out of my browser so the stream does not freeze because I'll be sad. All right. Let's do this. Zoomer Speed, halfback for the Bison, currently at the top of the Heisman watch list. Regear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new and join our Discord community. The link is in the description below. And we're starting off kicking it out of bounds. You know, because we just, we gotta do it. That's just how I feel about it. All right, let's take a look at the defense. Dio Langston at DN. Linebacking core of Jeffrey Clark and Austin Bracey. We'll see him in the second half. And Zeke Marunde in the secondary. Oliver Vincent. True freshman corner, Sean Mahan, and a sophomore, Rich Rodriguez. And this is already a terrible start as Cobbs gets it all the way inside the 35-yard line of North Dakota State. That's, that's rough. It's real rough, guys. Look who's reading the chat. Listen, Jay, I, I had to do it. I'm sorry. I don't even know who to use right now. I'm always, I always use Austin Bracy. Oh, let's let's just go off sides now. We'll let him score a touchdown on this next play, and then we're gonna end up fumbling the ensuing kickoff return after that, just because. All right, let's uh, let's try this again, please. Thank you. First down and five for the Cowboys. Quarterback sweep. Oh, get wrecked, son. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's up, Tyler? All right, second down and four. Play action. Quick pass left side of the halfback. That's Cobbs. And another tackle for Barry. Last Life Gaming Network, what's going on, brother? Hope you're doing well, my friend. 
First and 10 from the 14-yard line for McNeese State now. Cowboys look for a huge upset, and that man is wide open, and there's a touchdown already. Definitely a rough start for the sixth best team in the country. Now they still got a shot at the Natty, but they got to get through South Dakota State in their uh, computer versus computer matchup against them, and then they would have to defeat the VMI Cadets in the Big 12 championship game to have a shot. But first, we got to get through the McNeese State Cowboys. They're on fire in Fuego. Four plays, 65 yards, a minute and 11 seconds off the clock. And your family are going to Franken, Frankenmuth, is that how you say it? Nice. I like it. And here's Sean Mahan, the true freshman cornerback. He's a big fella. And gets it up to the 20. Tom Schaefer in the chat. What's up, Tom? How you doing? Look over the offense after this play. Jasper Jr. pitches it out. Cameron May. Oh, baby, what a run by the fullback. And let's take a look at that offense. Kelvin Jasper Jr., he's the junior quarterback. He's backed up by the true freshman, Carter Honeycutt. In the backfield, Zoomer Speed to Oka Nanticoke, Michael Gregory, and Jet Balmer. Cameron May at fullback. And there's Cameron May again, and he's still up, and there's a face mask. 15-yarder. The rest of the offense, Ryan Ermodowski at receiver. And at tight end, Max Hawthorne. On the O-line, right tackle, Anders Harladay. And the left tackle, Jake Harlow. All right, let's get it. I'm going to keep feeding the beast. And really not blocking at all on the, on the offensive front. Just no blocking. Feels bad. McNeese is doing this for the people affected by the hurricane. I like it. All right, we're chucking it. Zoomer Speed on the corner route. If I can get some blocking. Deep shot, Zoomer Speed. Oh, deflected away. Nice play. I thought that was going to be picked after the deflection. All right, third down and nine. Let me go with play action again. Just because. That's what I do. Don't judge. Third down and nine for the Bison. Deep shot. Oh, Calvin. What was that? What in tarnation? We go for it. That's what we do here. 99th in the country on 4th down percent. Oh my goodness. We do this. Zoomer speed. Still going. Still up. Inside the 20. Let's go. That's why he is at the top of the Heisman watch list right now. What a great play. Oh my goodness. That spin was disgusting. Sean Mahan in the chat. What's up, Sean? No worries, man. Hope your sister is doing well, man. That, that's rough. I've been in car crashes. I've been hit by a car. I, it's... It's no fun. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. We got back to the line of scrimmage on that. Putting your kid to bed and nearly falling asleep yourself. Nice. I like it. All right, second down and 10 from the 20. And that play was blown up. Jasper with nowhere to go and somehow gets a handful of yards out of it. Third and five. Number two team in the country on third downs. 55% conversion rate. That is not too shabby. Uh-oh. That's not good. I don't think Calvin's got the speed for it. And he doesn't.
I guess we're kicking a field goal. 30-yard attempt from Madison. And that is right down Main Street. And it's 7-3. That was a 10-play, 67-yard drive. Didn't end quite the way we wanted it to. But at least we got on the scoreboard. I've been in a car accident. Yes, sir, I have, Tyler. I surely have. I've actually been in uh, three, two or three car accidents. And perfect kickoff. Let's go. All right, let's get it. Fullback dive. And oh my goodness, I thought he was going to get to the outside. Nine yard pickup for the fullback. Second and one. Tossing it out. Look out. I'm just going to bounce off. Feels bad. That was awful. Cowboys just playing for pride at this point in the season at 1-7. They are not able to become bowl eligible. The Bison, of course, are already bowl eligible. Oh, what a play by Zeke Marunde laying out for the deflection. And that brings up 2nd and 10. Get him. Let's go. Jeffrey Clark, his fourth sack on the season. He's listed as an outside linebacker, but the Bison have him playing at D-end and D-tackle as well. And he made a nice play there. He's actually the defensive end in the 3-4 scheme. And Dio Langston, who is listed as a defensive end, is the outside linebacker in the 3-4 scheme. And a nice play by Zeke Marone on third down. The Bison will get the football and probably in good field position. Listen, Regear. It's not happening, man, because they're going to take their eighth L right here. Oh, Marunde almost gets the block. Let's go, Oliver. Aw. That's unfortunate. All right, let's, uh, let's get a touchdown, please. That would be fantastic. Jasper on the option. Pitches it out. There's Zoomer Speed. Look out. Oh, my goodness. All the way inside Cowboy territory. What to do? What to do? Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. And there's the amazing Calvin Jasper Jr. fumble, uh, fumble that we all know and love. That's unfortunate. Happens at least once a game. He just kind of throws the football right directly to the ground. And there's another sack. Is that Clark once again? Nope. I don't know who that is. Number 95. One of the non-subscriber players. Let's see who it is. Edwards. Good play, Edwards. You are the GOAT. Second down at 16 after the sack. Deep shot. And deflected a couple times. Almost picked off by Oliver Vincent. That'll bring up third and 16. Cowboys, 36% on third downs. That is 107th in the country. Quick pass and incomplete. Mayhan on the coverage. And they're going to punt it away again. And 
we'll start off this drive at the 13 yard line. Let's hold on to the football this time, please. That would be just amazing if we could possibly do that. Back dive, no blocking. Cameron May picks up maybe a yard on the play. And that'll end the first quarter. Cowboys on top of the sixth ranked Bison, seven to three. Cowboys actually doing pretty good against the run so far. Let's go, Calvin. Nice block downfield by Ryan Ermandowski. And Jasper will get the first down all the way to the 31 yard line. Deep shot, Ryan Erwindowski, and he comes down with it. Touchdown, North Dakota State. I think that's the longest touchdown catch of his career. A 68-yard bomb from Kelvin Jasper Ajunia. Oh, my goodness. The DB left his feet. You leave your feet, you see defeat. That's just how it is, man. What a play. That's the most I've, most excitement I've ever had for a Ryan Ermandowski play. And it is now 10 to 7. It's probably the only time I've ever threw a deep ball to Ryan Ermandowski, to be honest. They're probably throwing him like a post route, maybe, but that's out of bounds too, probably. Yep, awesome. I don't want to talk about it, guys. It's alright, I kick it out of bounds, and it, you know, totally negates them getting a kick return for a touchdown. See, you see how it works? It's all part of my master plan. You shot! Uh oh! Oliver Vincent gets beat, but luckily I was there to save the touchdown with Barry. Got to get some pressure on the quarterback. Pace 4 of 7. 67 yards and a touchdown. Token Nanticoke on the tackle. Half back out there playing linebacker. You love to see it. Get him. And another nice tackle by the defense. Number 93. That's the defensive tackle. I cannot remember his name either. O'Donnell. And, oh my goodness. Of course. Why not? <laughs> why not? You didn't get any rushing yards. All you got was three. Yeah, you had a rough game earlier, Tyler. Three yards rushing. You had a couple fumbles. It, it was a little rough. I can't lie. But, hey, your team got the win, and that's all that matters. First and goal for the Cowboys from the 10-yard line. And Barry with the face mask. Fantastic. Oh, boy. All right, first and goal from the five. Can we get a goal line stand? Tight end around, and we get the stop. Let's go. That play is so hard to defend. You have to get immediate pressure off the edge, or they're going to score a touchdown every time. Second to go from the seven. Two tight ends set for pace. And, oh my goodness, Oliver. 
Easy touchdown for Lucas. All right, so the Cowboys take the lead back, unfortunately. About to be up 14 to 10 with four to go in the first half. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's up, Bill? Slim Chris as well. How you doing? All right, let's get it. Oliver Vincent trying to make up for that touchdown. He just allowed. Let's see what he can do. Gets to the outside. Oliver Vincent up to the 28. Decent return by the senior corner. Trying to squeeze through there. Picks up five yards. I was bouncing all, all over the place. It was a little bit rough. Another beautiful night in the Miami Valley. Nice. I like it. All right, second down and five. And that play was just not good. Just not good at all. <laughs> all right, let's... We got to get Zoomer speed the football. I'm trying to, but all the option players are getting blown up. Get it, Zoomer. Let's go, Zoomer. First down up past the 45-yard line for the Heisman front runner. Pretty even in plays and time possession. Not too far off for yards as well here zoomer speed on the reception picks up five or six yards oh my goodness gracious this old line is getting destroyed We are just one of three on third downs, and so are the Cowboys. Off his back foot, Zoomer Speed has it at the sticks. Does he get enough? He apparently did not. That is very unfortunate. Let's go for the triple option anyway. Let's do it. Cameron May gets the first down. Okay, let's go. The big fella falling forward. Super speed in the zone. Always good to see. Pitch that out. Michael Gregory, the freshman, is going to get close to the first down. I'm not sure if he got enough. And they do give it to him. First and ten for the Bison. Kind of an awkward pitch from Jasper. Oh boy. Ryan Erwandowski is open. Ryan Erwandowski for his second touchdown of the game? What? <laughs> He's got 100 yards receiving and two scores on two catches. Greatest game of his career right here. Oh my goodness. Beautiful route. And the spin move. He is not a very athletic receiver, but he's making the most of it here today. It's Brucey's time to shine. All right, got the lead back. Take this extra point, make it a field goal game. And it is 17 to 14 with less than two minutes to go in the first half. Cowboy Jasper Jr. in the chat. What's going on, man? Bearded Buffalo. Oh, my goodness. Pretty much. All 
Oh, that's clipping. Hello. No call. Feels bad. All right, we're up to 15 viewers now, guys. you love to see it. Again, don't forget to slap the like button. Slap it real good. Pace wide open on the right side is Wilkinson. Maybe two yards on the catch. Jasper or Wentz? Oh, we got to go for Jasper. Come on now. And there's a big hit. And Barry almost comes away with it. I believe that was Clark again hitting the quarterback. He is just wreaking havoc on the left side of that line. And oh my goodness, there was five defenders in the area. We get the quick three and out. And we will get the football back with about a minute 20 to go in the second quarter. Absolutely, Calvin. You, you know I got to pick you over, over Wentz. Come on now. Oh, nice tackle. Always got to go for my guys. Quintuple coverage. You got you to gotta love that, man. You really do. I mean, that's definitely a play that I would try to make. I'm just saying. We all know it. Oh, hit as he throws. Incomplete. Oh, no. Calvin, say it ain't so, buddy. That's, that, that is an extremely unfortunate situation right there. Let me make sure. Why is Honeycutt still number three on the depth chart? What is that? Here we are. Are we good? We're good. And Honeycutt will pick up five yards. I don't know what happened. My OBS just kind of stopped. So if you experienced a slight delay right there, OBS said, I, I need a nap. All right, third down and six. Calvin Jasper Jr. is back in the ball game. And Zoomer Speed makes the catch. 48 seconds left, all the way down to the 29-yard line of McNeese State. Beautiful play. All right, let's get it. Still got all our timeouts left. And, oh, no! Oh, that is so unfortunate. Great play by the secondary. Will North Dakota State be in a probation next season? If they end up having another player that needs to be suspended, I won't be able to suspend them because I don't have any more points to put towards that. So they will most likely uh, end up being um, having a postseason ban for two seasons. So that means no conference championship, no bowl game. Man. The interception was just so unfortunate. Just such a great play by the safety. Well, both safeties, really. Oh, I misjudged or mistimed the uh, triangle button. Feels bad. All right, third down and five. We could potentially get the ball back again. Fullback dive and a nice tackle. Let's go, Zeke Marunde on the stop. Yeah, it could also be less scholarships, yeah. For show, for show. And Oliver Vincent is going to have to fair catch this at the 41. 
He's got one punt return touchdown on the season. Alright, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? This might be good. Might be good. Zoomer. Zoomer. Oh man. Way too much air under that pass. Alright, we got seven seconds. Time to take a shot over the middle if we have to. Deep shot to Harris. And he comes down with an O oh, inside the five yard line as time expires. Man, what a half. Cowboys giving the Bison a run for their money. Just didn't quite have enough speed to get to the end zone. But how about Kelvin Jasper Jr.? I believe over 250 passing yards in the first half for a triple option attack team. And here is Vincent from his six. And up to the 21. All right. Let's get the ground game popping a little bit. Over 300 yards of offense for the Bison. Just 131 for the Cowboys. But two turnovers has kept this game close. And a nice run from Calvin Jasper Jr. all the way past the 40. And there's a flag for clipping, of course. And that was Harris, the receiver that almost scored before the half. Man, and that was after Jasper already ran all the way downfield. It's first and 11. How often do you see that? Cameron May, no gain. Chaos driven in the chat, my brother. What's going on? All right, we got to figure this out. Passing attack has been really good. Rushing, not so much, and I don't understand why. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. That was just an overthrow, for sure. Extremely unfortunate. Yeah, Jet Balmer open. And clearly misjudged his speed by quite a bit. So, two touchdowns, two picks in the game for Kelvin Jasper Jr., And there's another sack. That's Dio Langston getting through for his first sack of the game. Second down and 16 now. Cranny at gaming in the chat. What's up, Cranny? What's going on? How you doing? Cranny at, at, at. Oh my goodness, how did he not deflect that? Come on, West, what you doing? Jasper, pretty good numbers on the season. 13 touchdowns, 8 picks. Not too bad. I believe statistically, or not statistically, um, ratings-wise, he is the highest rated quarterback, I believe, out of all of our subscriber quarterbacks. I think he's got a 95 overall. It's kind of crazy. There's another sack. Who got him this time? And that is Toka Nantico. Halfback out here playing linebacker, getting the sack. And a nice stop by the defense. They are not in field goal range. They're going to punt away from our 39-yard line. Miami clapped FSU in the Aces Championship game. I have not watched that yet. I'm going to have to check it out now. Oh, boy. Oh, good play. And we ran into the kicker anyway, so now they're going to kick field goal. Oh, actually, they're going to go for it. Okay, fourth and ten. Kind of crazy. Uh, 
And another sack. Let's go. Huge stop. Edwards, his fifth sack of the season. That's a beautiful thing. Just pretty much came through untouched. All right, can we get the football to Zoomer Speed? For the love of all that is holy. I'm begging you. Is Zoomer just outrunning his blocker and getting the first down inside Cowboy territory just like that. Let's go speed option. Wasn't a smart decision to go for it? Absolutely not. I don't know why they did. I would have went for a field goal. Pitch it out. Zoomer, please. Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. Please. Make it stop. I'm begging. Ain't too proud to beg and plead for your sympathy. Oh, man. Not on mine, because it means that much to me. And a nice play to Cobbs. Pick up uh, a couple. And I actually got four out of that somehow. Okay. If you say so, ref. If you say so. Second down and six. Play action. And that pass is picked off by Zeke Morunda. He pretty much just threw it right to him. I'll take it. Literally just threw it right to him. The receiver <laughs> did not even make an attempt at the football. All right, let's uh, do something on offense. That would just be great. Here we go, Calvin. Let's go, Calvin. Let's go. Inside the 40. Speed, four carries, 68 yards. I don't know why it's been so difficult to get the football in his hands in this game. But I am not enjoying it. Good blocking. Zoomer speed. First down inside the 15-yard line. He's got five catches over 100 yards in the game. So two 100-yard receivers. I'm not sure if the Bison have ever done that in this series. I'm just saying. Two red zone trips, one field goal. Oh my goodness. Fullback was 20 yards on eight carries. Let's go, Calvin. Pitch it out. Cameron made the big fella. Rumbles into the end zone for the touchdown for the sixth ranked North Dakota State Bison. The big fullback. Let's go. Two score lead. Calvin didn't even have to pitch that. <laughs> he trucked the defender. That was great. Yes, Tyler. It is a doubleheader tonight. We have in the Bryant Bulldogs traveling to take on the Delaware State Hornets. A little ACC matchup. Bryant looking to rebound after losing to the Hampton Pirates in Hampton, Virginia. It was a rough game. Came down right down to the white. ACC's been getting a little crazy this season. We saw Savannah State lose to Norfolk State. And who else they lose to? They lost another conference game, didn't they? I can't remember. 
All I know is it's not going to be the Tigers or the uh, the Bulldogs winning the ACC this season. Hit him. Okay, nice cut. Kafka picks up seven. Third down, three from the 23-yard line. Cowboys are one of six on third downs. And they're going to throw it out of the goal line set. And it's wide open, and he is off the mark with that pass. So Oliver Vincent going to have another shot at a punt return here. He'll probably catch it around the 35, 40-yard line. Unless we block it, of course. Nope, not today. And that was actually a really good kick. What to do, what to do. We got the two score lead. Don't want to get too crazy. There's just no blocking, so that's cool. Super cool. Love it. Loss of six yards. Alright, Calvin. Nope. Okay. Oh my goodness, speed got wrecked. Only a pickup of two. Alright, third down of 14 from the 27. Screen set up to speed and he's gonna lose some more yards. That play took forever to develop. Adkins will come on for, I believe, his first punt of the game on 4th and 17. That should be pretty decent. It's going to go all the way to the right or the left when it flips the camera angle. Get him, Harris. Nope. Nice tackle by the fullback, Cameron May. Pace, nice deflection, and that was Zeke Marunde with another one. Another one. All right, second down and 10. Austin Bracey is back in the ballgame. I forgot to even mention that off of his one-half suspension for paying people to do his homework. Oh, my goodness gracious. This guy is slow as molasses, and we can't even catch him. We caught a break. I like it. All right, second and 15 now. Third quarter winding down. Oh boy, deep shot, Oliver Vincent in coverage and deflects it out of the hands of the receiver. Oh my goodness. I get so nervous on those passes because nine times out of ten, they're caught by the receiver. Play action. Deep shot right side and zero attempt at a play. Literally just turned around and let him catch it and run away for a score. Bruh. 65 yard bomb as the third quarter comes to a close. Can the Bison hold on and defeat Big 12 opponent McNeese State? 
find out next episode on uh, Dragon Ball Z. Get your fours up, folks. Another close one. If you missed the Northern Colorado and Idaho State game this morning, definitely suggest you go check that one out. That was a good game. Vincent from the goal line. To start the fourth quarter, and Vincent bounces off a tackler and is going to get back to the 15-yard line. We're dominating in yards. It's ridiculous. Deep shot. Erwindowski. Uh-oh. And it's picked. So basically, I'm just going to walk over uh, to the McNeese State sideline and just, just hand the game over to the Cowboys. Just going to hand it right to them. It's fine. It's fine. Alex Couture in the chat. What's up, Alex? Oh, my goodness. Bounced off my hip. All right, I formation set for the Cowboys. Go option. And a good one. Look out. Sean Mayhand saves the touchdown at the 30 yard line. That was a really well executed option. And they're at the 30 yard line. Let's go, defense. Do something. Anything, please. I'm begging. Play action. And oh my goodness. How is that not picked off? Somebody explain, please. It's all good, Alex. No worries, buddy. If you can't watch a stream while it's live, you can always go back and watch the replay. Get that sack. Oh my goodness. Can we get a turnover, please? I'm begging. Third down and 10. They are two of eight in the game on third down. And we hit the quarterback. Deflected away by Oliver Vincent. We get the stop we needed, but they are going to go for it. Bison, 2 of 2 on 4th downs in the game. Cowboys, 0 for 1. And we hit the quarterback. I can't get the interception, but we get the 4th down stop and get the ball back. Please, Dio, do not taunt and get us a penalty. I'm begging you. How was my day? It was alright. Can't really complain too much. Speed to the outside. Can he have the angle? Oh, nice run anyways. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Thought for sure he was going to get away from that defender. All right, speed is in the zone at halfback. Calvin. Pitch it out, why not? Got to get him the ball, right? Up to the 36-yard line. He's over 100 yards now on seven carries. Who's ready for some hurricane football? This guy. That's who. All right, first and 10 from the 35-yard line. And we're just going to keep it. Oh, my goodness. What a hit on the quarterback. But he held on to it, so I am impressed. Right. 
do 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 oh my goodness just runs over <laughs> the impact player amazing right, let's go fullback dive because Calvin is a little bit exhausted middle linebacker is in the zone so watch out for him Oh my goodness, no blocking. Loss of one for Cameron May. Try to milk some of this clock. May up the middle. That's a face mask. Free yards. We'll take it. All right, second down and four. Gives us a chance to burn some more clock as well. Let's go, Calvin. Oh, couldn't pitch it out. We do make it first and goal from the seven yard line, though. Oh, boy. Jasper is completely gassed. Carter Honeycutt in the ball game for this play. Carter Honeycutt, the freshman, punches it in for the touchdown for North Dakota State. What a run. Let's go. Back to a two score lead. Great blocking up front. And a great effort by the freshman quarterback, Carter Honeycutt, to hold on to the football and get it over the goal line. And we just hit 20 viewers on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. You guys are the best. Don't forget to slap the like button and subscribe if you are new. And, you know, join our Discord community. If you want to get a player in this series. And Lucas will down it in the end zone. Alright, 242 left in the game. It's not over yet. That pass is way out of bounds. My goodness. That was that was a little rough to watch. I can't lie. Alright, second and ten from the 20. Play action. Quick pass to Williamson. And there's a fumble. And that is recovered by Edwards. Oh my goodness. Let's go. We have five turnovers. But we do have two takeaways, and that is enough for us to get the dub. Let's get in the end zone again and put this thing away. That was Hoka Nanticoke, number 22, who will most likely get credit for the forced fumble. Already in the red zone for this drive. That's a face mask. Four trips to the red zone, two touchdowns, and one field goal for the game.
Cameron May up the middle. And he's going to get it to the two. Try to get Zoomer to speed the football. Should be an easy touchdown here on the off tackle carry from the shotgun. And Zoomer Speed will break the tackle, get in for the score. And with the extra point, it'll be a three score ball game with less than two minutes remaining. Cowboys put up a pretty good fight today, though. So hats off to them. Throw a pick for the culture. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I've already thrown a couple in this game. Two or three, I think. Nine kick power, let's go. Oh, what a hit! Oh, my goodness, get got, sucker. Another sack, and there's another fumble recovered by Edwards. Two drives in a row. Clark gets his 11th sack of his career. This game is going to get out of hand in the last couple minutes. Boy, oh boy. Beautiful play. Michael Gregory, the freshman, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. Let's go, Michael. Nice little juke. Kelvin Jasper Jr. pitches it. He's running out there. He's blocking people. Getting his young halfback in the end zone. So it was an extremely close game for about 90% of this ball game. Not no more. Zuma Speed, player of the game. 108 yards rushing and 100 yards receiving. So 208 yards on how many touches? 14. That pass is picked off by Tohoku Nanakoke, the halfback. Oh my goodness. Three straight takeaways. That was bouncing around for days. Only a 24-point game? Yeah, only. Carter Honeycutt in at quarterback. Nice blocking. Bailey's wide open. And Bailey is in for the touchdown. That's the 50-burger from North Dakota State. Carter Honeycutt comes in. Two plays as a touchdown run and a touchdown pass. What happened? <laughs> what happened in the past couple minutes? Uh, 
There was no way going into the fourth quarter that I think that we would get 50 points this game. You take a 50 burger with a chocolate shake? Uh, yeah, me too. I'm hungry. These fans are pissed. Yeah, just a little bit. They thought they had us. They were so close. And they're going to go wide receiver screen. Gilbert is going to be dropped for a loss. And there's a flag for a holding. Oh my goodness, they're just falling apart. Half the distance from the spot on the Still first down. A strawberry shake for you, Bill. I'd go for some strawberry. It's pretty good. As long as it's not from McDonald's. Because their shakes, the strawberry shakes, are just not good. I don't know what it is about those shakes, but they are just disgusting. Yeah, go ahead and taunt. What, what are you doing, my guy? Alright, so the Bison will remain in the top 10 with this dub. Not sure if they'll move up at all. Oh my goodness, Sean Mahan almost had a pick six. Imagine. Alright, Chris, take it easy, buddy. Stick around after this stream, guys. We'll be having the Bryant Bulldogs taking on the Delaware State Hornets in ACC play directly after the stream is over. Escalated quickly, kinda. We had three straight takeaways and then scored pretty much the next play every time. Third down at 10 for the Cowboys. And that pass is caught by Gilbert, first down. All right, Tom, take these, buddy. Another sack on the quarterback. Oh my goodness. 12 hurries, 7 sacks, and 2 INTs for this defense tonight. Unbelievable. And he got destroyed. Brings up 2nd down and 17. He lost 7 yards on that. Now the screen pass to Gilbert, who breaks a tackle and gets it up to the 48-yard line. And that should do it. That should be the final play. And it is North Dakota State, sixth-ranked team in the country, gets the win 52-21 against the now 1-8 McNeese State Cowboys. The Bison, 9-1 on the season. They have two regular season games remaining. That was a very good game for about three and a half quarters. And McNeese State, they just fell apart so drastically. And the Bison made them pay. Let's take a look at the stats, and then we'll get on out of here. 491 yards of offense, over 200 rushing, 288 through the air. We sacked them seven times. We got sacked once. We had five turnovers, really unfortunate. Punt, 40 yards. We put up four touchdowns to pull away in the fourth quarter. Like I said, it was a really good game. It was 24-21 as we entered the fourth quarter. And in two minutes and 43 seconds, we scored four touchdowns. Well, not even. It was a minute and a half, basically. That's rough. Yeah, they definitely put up a fight, man. Cardi Honeycutt, one of one, 32 yards and a touchdown. Calvin, a little bit of a rough game. He started off really good, then threw three interceptions to end the game. Zimmer Speed, 108 yards, a touchdown. Cameron May scored, and Michael Gregory scored as well, and Carter Honeycutt. 
receiving. Zoomer Speed, six catches, 100 yards. Erwin Dowski, two catches, 100 yards, and two touchdowns. Derek Bailey had the other score. And Michael Harris with a 56-yard catch. Harlow with seven pancakes. Harlow Day had four. Hawthorne had one at the tight end spot. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. All these tackles for a loss. Look at this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh my god. 11 tackles for a loss. 7 sacks. And 2 interceptions. Defense was just balling out in the second half. Lots of deflections. A couple forced fumbles. 2 recovered by Peter Edwards. Madison, one of one field goals, seven of seven extra points, seven kickoffs, two touchbacks. And Derek Adkins with a 40 yard punt. And nothing of note on returns. Players of the game Nantico, Speed, and Edwards. Holloway, Lucas, and Breedlove for McNeese State. That is going to do it for this stream, guys. Go ahead and slap the like button on your way out if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next stream in about 5 to 10 minutes with the number 23 ranked Bryant Bulldogs traveling to Dover, Delaware to take on the 2-5 and five Delaware State Hornets in ACC play. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.